Hey Kamochi's kids, it's Mr. Taylor back with you for another Kamochi's lesson. During our last lesson, we talked about the feeling friendly. For this lesson, I want us to give a drum roll on our desks or laps for our Kamochi's friend that will help us learn about our next Kamochi, or in English, our next feeling. Now, everybody give me a drum roll. Hey. Here he is. Here's Bug. Now, Bug is here with us to discuss the feeling left out. And here's how you spell the word left out. And here is what left out may look like. You may remember from a previous lesson with Bug that sometimes he feels left out because he is shy and isn't always brave enough to ask others to play. Now, Bug is going to share some times in which he feels left out. I feel left out when I walk into class in the morning and nobody says hi to me. I feel left out at recess when a large group of people are playing a game without me. I feel left out when my friends are playing a game outside in the neighborhood and did not ask me to play. Thank you for sharing that, Bug. I know that that can be hard to share sometimes. I want us to go ahead and give a thumbs up if you've ever felt left out before. I know that I've felt left out before. And no one wants or likes to feel left out. Feeling left out is a hard to have feeling. After listening to Bug share some examples of feeling left out, it makes me think that it's always more fun when we make room for everyone. This means that when we see or hear that somebody wants to play or talk with us, then we make room for them. If we see someone feeling left out and looking like they want a friend, go ahead and talk to them or ask if they want to play. This is an example of being friendly which we talked about during our last lesson. Here's an example of how another Komochi's friend can be friendly and make room for everyone when they notice someone like Bug feeling left out from the group. Hey Bug, do you want to play kickball? We have a group of people that are forming a, a game. Of course, I'm not the greatest, but I'll kick it as hard as I can. That's okay. I'm not that great at kickball either. Now, there may be times where we need to ask others if we can join in. And this is an example of when we are being brave. When we ask to join in, we will need to go through the steps of getting someone's attention. So first, we want to call that person's name. For example, Bug would say, hey, hug the puss. Second, if they do not hear us, then we may need to use the communication tap on the shoulder. Hey, hug the puss. When they have turned and they show us their eyes, then we know that they have heard us. And they would say something maybe like, what's up, Bug? And we want to smile and say something like, can I play with you? Sure. Then you want to respond in a thankful way. For example, Bug would say, thanks, Hugtopus. And as we wrap up this lesson, I want to remind everyone that if somebody is shy, they still want to feel included and have fun with others. It's important that we make room for everyone and even do the little things to make people feel a part of the group or valued, like giving them friendly signals. And this is definitely part of being a Kamochi's kid, which means we are being respectful, responsible, kind, and resilient. Now, Bug and I are grateful for the way that you have listened during this whole lesson. Please take care, make room for everyone, and we will see you next time, Kamochi's Kids.